This was a mistake. Wait, no, not this. This. This is Mobbo, the worst mob ever conceived. A joke that's really gotten out of hand. Mobbo was recently inserted into Minecraft by a disgruntled ex-employee. To save the overworld from Mobbo, we needed to send in two incredible heroes. But unfortunately, they spawned in the middle of the ocean. So we needed to find two more heroes. Two vastly less impressive heroes. Can they stop Mobbo and keep your third favorite crafting game borderline playable? Find out in... inside Forza Horizon 5. We're in Minecraft, mate. The plains biome. Yes, that's what I meant. Along with the dark forest biome, taiga, jungle and savannah, the plains is one of the most common biomes that players initially spawn in. Well, in bedrock anyway. If Mobbo's anywhere, it's likely here. With every update, we have to make sure we don't accidentally add any unintentional difficulty spikes to these starter biomes. Even the slightest change to the Minecraft ecosystem could throw the entire overworld into chaos. It's why we added things like the Sunflower Plains biome instead of the TNT Plains biome. Ugh, but wouldn't starting out in a biome like this be more exciting? Possibly, but it's all about setting a tone. Lots of games start you off in a calm, tranquil forestry area, like Ori and the Blind Forest and Psychonauts. Do you have any examples that aren't owned by Microsoft? No. These opening areas are designed to be welcoming and accessible, appealing to new players as they learn the mechanics while hinting at the dangers and conflicts to come. And when players visit the later, more challenging areas, full of dangers galore, you've given your game a healthy sense of escalation. We start you off in forests and greenery to trick you into thinking Minecraft isn't a jerk. Then we steadily make the biomes more sinister, until you're burning in the nether and ending in the end. However, Minecraft's a little unusual in that we don't explicitly force you to engage with our endgame. A lot of players the nether see never, I mean they never see the nether, or the end. They retire peacefully in the opening biomes, and we pretend we're fine with that. Yeah, the developers who worked so hard to make the nether update didn't cry at all when we told them how many players actually visit the nether. But we do have more subtle methods for forcing you to explore. The plains biome has lots of animals and land to build on true. But if you want the wood to make essential tools, you'll need to visit a biome with more trees. And if you visit the dark forest biome to get that wood, you'll soon realise that hostile mobs love spawning there 24-7. It's our slightly passive-aggressive way of convincing you to flee a biome and try exploring somewhere else. Think of us as proud parents, gently pushing you to broaden your horizons and see the world. Proud parents, longing for the day you turn 18. I want it on record that she said that, not I. It would appear Mobbo isn't in any of the starter biomes. Maybe they're currently ruining some other biome and people should subscribe to the channel so they don't miss future episodes. No, that sounds a bit extreme to me. I think we should just assume that Mobbo is gone forever and that we won! <laughs> Why don't we celebrate defeating Mobbo with a meal at that new restaurant? New restaurant? Huh? When did that open? Are you sure this isn't a trap? You ask too many questions, and not enough of them are, why aren't we eating already? Good note. Hostile mobs! But how? I thought they only spawn in complete darkness now, and your screen is lit up. 
Yeah, but I don't count as light. Apparently, there's too much darkness in me. On guard! That's French for I surrender, right? Prends le narrateur à ma place. Oh. Oh. Will our heroes escape with their lives and without leaving a tip? Will they find Mobbo and save the overworld? And where's the Mobbo burger I ordered 40 minutes ago? Find out the answers to at least one of these questions and all of life's mysteries in next month's adventure.